like where do you think most of the the talk and the hubbub surrounding stopping eating a few hours before bed comes from? Is it mainly just like in the insulin resistance community where basically, I mean, because you know, I think it's wildly different between someone that has a healthy metabolism and not, yeah, perhaps. There, there's sound reasoning. I mean, if you look at some of the like original studies, so like 1993, for example, there were some studies that started to come out and like the one that comes to mind um, gave 544 calories at three different times. And you had that at either 9 a.m., uh, 5 p.m. or 1 in the morning. And they gave the same food at each time and just measured all these metabolic outcomes that came from it. And like your response to that food was far worse at one in the morning than it was yeah. at nine in the morning. So you, there are like we know it's not you're slowing down. You're going to have a natural reduction in, in metabolic rate, for example. You're heading to sleep. You also handle glucose worse at that time than earlier in the day. And so if you think about that, you'd be like, yeah, why would I eat before bed? Yeah. And again, I think there's two bigger things to consider. One's like we're not talking about meals here. We're talking about 30 minutes before bed, a snack, a protein snack, really. Um, but in a whole food sense, it does look like there's some uh, worse outcomes. The other area are night shift workers. Uh, those individuals, have, there's a lot of data here with if you're eating through the night and late at night, you have worse metabolic outcomes. But then that's confounded by what are your choices late at yeah. night if you're a night shift worker not bringing foods with you. Um, so that, you know, sort of plays into that. And then people that have um, conditions like where they eat most of their calories um, very late in the evening. It's yeah. all a whole slew of data in that space, too, that all have negative outcomes. Yep. So I think people see that they get a little nervous about um, eating late. And we also there's other data sh also like clearly if you eat a lot of your calories later in the day your chance uh, association with being obese is higher yeah. and BMI changes and these other things. But again, I think in a normal, healthy individual, this is a different story. We're also talking about a small calorie load. Yeah. And I think between those things, you really have um, an opportunity to feed that could be beneficial in the way we're speaking about it, as opposed to a giant uh, fast food meal, yeah. you know, right before bed.